active hurricane season and there are so many factors influencing each storm that we know they can all be very different when it comes to the impacts. Yeah, they sure can and small changes in the path of a storm can really lead to huge shifts in things like storm surge and rain intensity depending on which side of a hurricane passes over your location. So your local weather expert Peyton Malone explains all of it. The dirty side of a storm refers to an area of a hurricane or tropical system where you'll find the highest winds, highest storm surge, and greatest tornado threat. So what side of the storm is that? Well, generally, it's the northeast side of the storm, or more simply put, the right side of the storm. But it also depends on which direction the storm is moving. If it's traveling in the northern direction, the dirty side will be more on the direct right hand or eastern side. If the storm is traveling in a more western direction, the dirty side will be more on top of it or the northern side. So what makes it so dirty? It's all about the wind direction and a little math. For example, if a storm is moving north at 30 miles per hour and has wind speeds of 100 miles per hour, then the storm will produce winds of 130 miles per hour on the right, dirty side. While on the left side, winds move in the opposite direction of the storm's movement, so they'll be slower at 70 miles per hour. However, it's important to remember, as a storm grows stronger, every side becomes dangerous.